The AI assistant will help you write content for social media and Feedive is now using a fine-tuned model that we trained on more than 2 million high-performing posts from our database. But there's still something missing. The outputs are often generic and they lack personality. We need to make the AI assistant study your best work in order to create outputs that actually sound like something you would write. This is a product update. We're gonna take a look at some of the latest features and improvements we've added to the products we run. And just as a reminder, this video is a part of my product update series and if you're not interested but instead want to learn about SaaS, marketing, no code and AI, I suggest skipping this one and checking out some of my other videos instead. Let's start by taking a look at FeedHive. Two of our most popular features just got way better. In FeedHive, you can access our AI writing assistant, which will help you create content. Once you've created the post, you can use the performance prediction tool to analyze the post and grade it based on how likely it is to perform well on social media. If it gets a bad grade, the AI will give you suggestions that you can use to improve the post. These features aren't new. We've had these for a while, but this is where it gets really awesome. FeedHive is using GPT-3 and 4 under the hood, and OpenAI recently announced that you can now fine tune the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And that's exactly what we did. We pulled out 2 million posts from our database, structured it, ranked it based on performance and used it to fine tune a new AI model. As a result, our AI chat is now generating way better outputs. It's giving much more accurate grades when using the performance prediction tool and the suggested improvements are also much more helpful. But there's still one thing missing but I actually think we solved it this time. When you're asking the AI to generate a post, it's using what it's learned from more than 2 million posts to generate great social media copy. However, the outputs are still going to be somewhat of an average of all these posts. By the end of the day, large language models are statistical machines. So here's what we did. We layered multiple fine-tuned models and equipped them with the ability to do reinforcement learning using your content as a reference. Practically, this means that the AI will look at all your previous posts with a good performance prediction score and combine it with everything it knows about social media to produce well-performing content that uses your style of writing, your tone of voice, as well as your values, opinions, and other signifiers that are unique to your brand. And it will try to combine all of this to output the most banger content it can. Of course, worth saying this feature is still experimental and it does take a bit of time to pick up. After all, it needs to continuously learn by doing, but allowing it a bit of time to truly hone in on your style will be a total game changer for how you use AI to create content. If you're not a FeedHive user already, I recommend picking up a subscription today. Right now and until after Black Friday, we're offering a 25% discount in the first 12 months for all new users. And of course, we have a seven day free trial on all our plans. All right, let's move on to the next product in our portfolio. LinkDrip. You can use LinkDrip to shorten and track your links all across social media. When you shorten a link from FeedHive, it's actually using LinkDrip under the hood and we recently added the ability to customize the preview of each link directly from within FeedHive. And of course, these links appear in your LinkDrip dashboard where you can track how well they perform. So our tools now natively integrate with each other. But here's some of the brand new stuff. We see LinkDrip as much more than a simple link shortener. It's a no-code link engagement tool. And one of the ways you can now use LinkDrip to drive engagement is by creating call to action overlays to put on top of your links. With LinkDrip's no-code CTA builder, you can create rich overlay components that fit your style and branding and have them appear on top of the destination of your links. Each overlay will contain a CTA button that you can use to drive traffic to an external page. This is perfect to display on top of your blog post or hosted newsletter issues, or as an enhanced affiliate link on top of the articles where you give product reviews. And of course, you can access analytics for the CTAs as well to see how many clicks they're producing and measure the click-through rate and much more. And now that we're at it, let me just tease you a few of our upcoming features too. We're working on a QR code generator that you can use to create branded QR codes for your links. You'll be able to customize colors, patterns, upload your logo, add frames, and of course, download the QR codes as PNG or SVG so you can print them and share them. You can create and access multiple QR codes for each link. And of course, you can edit the destination or query parameters of the link itself without affecting the QR code at all. And finally, we're working on a public API that you can use to create links, generate basic QR codes and manage CTAs. 
all of this will be available to our users very soon. Since we still consider LinkTube a beta product, you can get access at a 30% discount on all of our plans for as long as you want. So if you think LinkTube would be beneficial for you, consider subscribing now and lock in that 30% discount. Finally, let's talk about the last product in our ecosystem, which is of course, TinyKiwi. If you're not familiar already, TinyKiwi is a lightweight image editor you can use to craft beautiful visual creatives for social media and image ads. And when I say lightweight, I really mean it. It's stupidly simple to use, way more cut to the bone than tools like Canva or Vistacreate. We have a graphic designer on our team who creates ready-made templates for TinyKiwi. He already created hundreds of templates for social media, ads, product markups, infographics, and much more. And he's not going to stop anytime soon. We will have thousands of these available very soon. And they're very simple to use. Pick a template, customize it to your liking, export it and use it in a post. If you're a FeedDive user or consider becoming one, you will automatically have access to TinyKiwi's unlimited version and you can use it to create visuals for social media directly from within FeedHive. And if you want to use it as a standalone app, we're selling access to TinyKiwi on a lifetime deal. Normally we charge $129 for lifetime access, but right now and until after Black Friday, you can get access for only $27. That's right, $27, single one-time purchase and unlimited access to Tiny Kiwi for life. All right, I think this is also a good time to address a question we've gotten a lot. Are we gonna bring Twitter back to FeedHive? That's still the elephant in the room. And here's the thing, no, we're not we stopped officially supporting the API key solution we had in place previously. And at this point, we don't have any plans to integrate with Twitter in the future. And I don't want this to be a big discussion about whether Twitter is dying or not, but what I can say is that the majority of our users are posting on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, closely followed by TikTok and YouTube. These are among the biggest, most established networks in the world right now, and these are the platforms we will focus on. But I can absolutely guarantee you that this has been an incredibly hard decision to make. This whole journey started on Twitter. Of course, I'm bummed out that this has to be this way. Nonetheless, if you need to schedule posts on Twitter or for that matter on Reddit or Snapchat or Mastodon or Tumblr or any of the other small niche networks, then FeedHive is simply not the right pick for you. If your main focus is on the other big networks, then our product suite, FeedHive, LinkDrip and TinyKiwi will absolutely be a perfect fit for you. I am 100% sure of that. And now that we've covered all that, you're probably wondering what this means. Not long ago, someone made this comment on one of my community posts. I thought this was very funny because someone clearly paid a lot of attention to what we're doing here. And let's just say I'm going to have some exciting news coming very soon. Stay tuned. I will see you soon for another product update.